What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel for another video. Today I wanted to do a quick video on how you can create your own channel banner for YouTube and upload it to YouTube on your channel for free on your phone. No computer required. I kind of dabbled around this topic before on my channel, but I haven't done a dedicated video to it so that you guys can come to it and know exactly what to do regarding this specific topic. So here it is, and it's pretty easy to do, guys. So the first step to doing this is you want to download the application called Canva. You can make more things than just channel banner arts for free. You can do thumbnails, you can do business cards, posters, flyers, email headers. Guys, there's a lot of things you can do with this app. So if you don't own it already, go and download it on your iOS device, your Android device, or if you even own a laptop, there's the web application. You can just go on and do this as well, which is which is honestly easier in my opinion, but I know not everybody has a computer, so I'll be showing you guys live right now how you can do this on your phone. If you have the Canva app installed on your phone now, you can continue to follow along with me here. Go ahead and launch the app, and for you guys, since you're first using the app, you're gonna need to log in with either your Facebook account or Google account. It's very easy to do, and you'll sign right into the application, no problem at all. From here, you'll see on the front page that you can create a new design of something that you're interested in, so you can see that there's all these options here, but if you don't necessarily see exactly what you're looking for, go ahead and search it. So in this case, we're gonna be looking up YouTube channel art. I've already had it in my search history. So go ahead and search that, and you'll see all all these different options so you could even have a blank one if you want to uh, put in your own shapes and images you can go ahead and do that it will be a little bit restricted though because you're not using the canva pro which will give you even more templates there won't be any watermarks on anything it'll just be simply what you want to create so if you find something go ahead and select it and you can start editing it what I did in my case is that I have my own designs that I already kind of found and that I liked uh, that I just wanted to edit for you guys here. So I like the one here, Midnight Man. I've already edited it a little bit, but let's say if you just want to edit the text, just zoom in a bit and select the text and you'll be able to edit straight from there after tapping on it twice. So see, I can delete stuff from it and I can just put my name right back in on it. Now let's say I wanna add a little bit more of my own special touch, at least what I have limited to in the free version. I can go down to that plus icon in the bottom right hand corner. And as you can see, like that little pop-up message said, you can add text, graphic pages to your design. And that's exactly what we might wanna do. So we can just go ahead and press the plus button and you'll be able to adjust the text if you wanna add different text, but I'm happy with the text that's here. Some of the other options is that you can add your own images. So I can select images from my favorites, my camera roll, and uh, import them right into this right here. So let me zoom in. I'll, I'll add this actually, like why the heck not, you know? It's very, very particular to work with. This would probably be a little bit easier if you're on a tablet instead of a tiny phone screen. But this is just an example. You guys can take the extra time that you need to make what you want into reality. So you can search up some cool stickers. Um, some of them are free, some of them are not, but just, you know, whatever comes to your imagination, you can search up some ideas that you might wanna add to your design. You also have shapes, logos, that won't be free, unfortunately. There's uh, other templates, let's say you just don't like what you're working with, you can go back through to see some of the offered free templates that you can work with. All right, so now let's say you're happy with your channel banner design and you're ready to save it. All you have to do is go to the top right-hand corner, select that teal icon with the up arrow, and go ahead and save as an image. So if you have some premium icons within your template and your uh, the banner that you created, you might have uh, this pop-up saying, hey, you might need to purchase the credits, but you don't need to do that. You can accept it with the watermarks, which I really didn't even see the watermarks in my image. So what you can do is just go ahead right above where it says the, where the credits are worth, select download watermarked draft. And now within my photos app, here is my image. We now wanna upload that content to our YouTube channel. So go ahead and grab that computer, baby. Go buy that flash drive. You know the deal. I'm kidding, guys. Don't get triggered. This is still only using the mobile device. So here's the important part. You wanna download the Google Chrome app. So if you're on iPhone, don't use the Safari app to do this next step because it's not gonna work and I'm gonna hear it in the comment section and I don't wanna hear it because I'm telling you right now, download the Google Chrome application. Once you've downloaded it, go ahead and launch it and I'm just gonna accept 
and continue. So log in with whatever account that you'd be using to upload videos to YouTube with. Now I'm gonna go to youtube.com and here I'm gonna actually go to the far right hand corner and I'm gonna select my account icon. And if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you're gonna see an option called desktop. You wanna select that. And now once I'm here, I'm gonna go ahead to the far left hand corner of the desktop version of YouTube on my phone and then go to my channel. And then from here, you'll see I have a whopping 11 subscribers. I know we're lit over here, trust me, bros. Seriously, don't follow me on this account that I don't, I really don't use it. I might do test streams or whatever on it, but I, I don't take it seriously. But anyways, guys, click on your channel banner, go to that edit icon, and then select edit channel art. And then from here, we're gonna go ahead and upload our new photo. So as you can see, like in the middle box there, that blue button, select a photo from your computer. In this case, it's our phone. Go ahead and select that button. And then we're gonna go to our photo library. And from here, I'm just gonna find my channel banner. It's almost complete. There it is, guys. Holy crap, this is looking smoking hot. I swear to you, man. It's gonna be kind of hard to make crops and adjustments, but let's just say I'm cool with what I'm seeing right now and I don't need to adjust the crop. I'm gonna go ahead and select it. And uh, we just gotta wait a little bit. And there it is, it changed on the fly. It's looking hella cool and fresh, man. So that's really it guys. If for some reason you didn't pay attention in this video and you were using your Safari app, you'll get an error saying that you need to sign in and if you try to sign in, it doesn't even work and you just can't upload your channel banner art at all. So just make sure if you're on Android or if you're on your iPhone or iPad, whatever, make sure you download the Google Chrome web browser so that way you're gonna be able to upload your Canva channel graphic art without a problem. Well, it is getting hot in here. I was wearing a sweater, <laughs> but that's it for me, guys. You guys stay healthy, stay safe, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace out.